Hi friends, good morning to everyone. In this video, we are going to explain about a very very small shortcut to find the LCM of given numbers. By using this shortcut, you can say the LCM of either two numbers or three numbers or more than two, three numbers. Just look at the numbers and you can say the answer within one or two seconds. Okay friends, let's go to the concept. Friends, if you like this video, please like it and share to your friends and family members. Okay, go to the concept. In the traditional method, take the lot of time to get the answer. But by using this shortcut method, take short time. Okay, before going to concept, first learn two basic concepts. Now, LCM of co-primes will be the product of their numbers. Already you know, co-primes means if two or more numbers having no common factors except one. That type of numbers are called co-primes. That's why, suppose 7 and 8, these two are co-primes. That's why, the LCM of these two numbers will be 56. Okay, suppose the LCM of the group of numbers is always more than the given numbers. The LCM of group of numbers not less than the given numbers means the LCM of given number is either equal to one of the number one of the group number otherwise more than of the group of numbers so here what is the LCM of 7 and 8 56 this 56 will be more than the 7 and 8 now go to the shortcut method this shortcut method is completely different from the traditional method Traditional method means how many methods are there to find the LCM, writing all multiples, prime factorization method and a division method. That is the traditional methods. But it is completely different from the traditional method. In this method, first of all, select the highest number. So the group of, from the group of numbers, which is the highest, the highest will be 72. Now, check the rest of the numbers are factors of the highest number or not. Now, here 2 is the factor of 72, 8 is also factor of 72, 24 is also factor of 72, means 24 into 3. That's why here 72 is a multiple of rest of the numbers so here LCM is a 72 now observe one more example 5 10 25 and 50 now select the highest number here which is highest number from the group of numbers 50 now check the rest of the numbers are factors of the highest number or not now check 5 is a factor of highest number 10 is also factor of 50, 25 is also factor of 50. That's why the 50 is a multiple of rest of the numbers. So here LCM will be 50. Now observe second model. In this model, first of all take the highest number. Select the highest number from the given group of numbers. Here which is the highest number 35. Now check the rest of the numbers are factors of a highest number or not. Now here 7 is a factor of highest number 35. That's why the 7 is cancelled out. Now check 14. 14 is not a factor of 35. So in this case write the next multiple of the highest number. Here 35 is the highest number. Then what is the next multiple of 35? 35 into 
2. Now 17. Now check. Here 14 is a multiple of 70 or not. Now check. Here 14 is a factor of 70 or not. Now 14 is a factor of 70. That's why here LCM will be 70. Now observe another example. Now take the highest number or select the highest number from the group of numbers. Here 27 will be the highest. Now check. Here 2 is a not a factor of 27. Here 9. 9 is a factor of 27. That's a 9 cancel out. Now take the next multiple of highest number. What is the next multiple of highest number means 27 into 2, 54. Now, here this 2 is a factor of 54 or 54 is a multiple of 2. That's why here LCM will be 54. Simple. Now, observe different model. Select the highest number. 15 is the highest number. 5. Here 5 is a factor of 15. Okay. Take out. Next, check the 11. Here 11 is not a factor of 15. That's why here no need to write the next multiple of highest number. Because here 11 is a prime number. Here 11 is a prime number. That's why in the case of among the given numbers, one of the number must be prime number. Then this prime number multiplying with the highest number. So your LCM will be 11 into 15. All you know this shortcut multiplying with 11. Write 5. 1 plus 5 6. Here 1. The answer of 11 into 15 will be 165. That is the LCM of given numbers. So in this case one of the number must be a prime number then the multiplying with the highest number. Now observe one more example for better understanding the concept. Now select the highest number from the group of numbers. Here which is the highest number? 20. Now check the rest of the numbers are factors of a highest number or not. Now here 5 is the factor of 20. That's why leave it. Now take 4. 4 is also 1 of the factor of 20. That's why take out. Check 17. Here 17 is not a factor of 20. And also the 17 is a prime factor. The 17 is a prime number. That's why in this case the LCM will be the product of the highest number and the prime number. So 17 into 20 that will be that will be 340. Okay friends, if you like this video, please like it and share it to your friends and family members. Thank you.